Good morning, someone. I'm Larry Mackey. And I'm Cassidy Berenger. Breakfast for Monday will be tornado fruit and juice. Today's lunch is macaroni and cheese, peas, fruit and veggie bar, and a dinner roll. For general news, there will be no school for students on Monday, April 18th. There will be a teacher in service that day. For elementary news, congratulations to the following members of the Summerlin Elementary Student Council. Belle, Braylon, Kaylin, Jalen, and Millie are on being today's Bobcat Catch of the Day. These girls are being recognized for their outstanding presentation to the administration to advocate for a volleyball net for the elementary playground. They gave a great PowerPoint, were very organized, had done research, and were very persuasive. Would have exemplified responsibility and respect. Bob will reside in the cafeteria today in your honor. Youth wrestlers, if you still have a youth Bobcat wrestling singlet, please get those turned into Coach Raymer. For high school news, congratulations to the senior head football team of Jacob Bank, Mason, Hope, Cassie Berenger, Hadley Cheatham, and Levi Cronk on their final eight performance at the NECC Quiz Bowl in Norfolk. Thursday, going three to one on the day, you represented your school very well at the meet in all year. Congratulations on a fine Quiz Bowl season. Local scholarships, just a reminder that they are due March 31st by the end of the day. Driver's Ed, if you're interested in taking Driver's Ed this summer, Please sign up in the office. Classes will start June 27th. You must be signed up by April 1st if you are interested. The Village of Clearwater is taking applications for summer help. Applications may be picked up at the Village or school offices. Questions may be directed to Clerk NG Hub. Village of Orchard is currently taking applications for different positions. Applications can be picked up in the Village Clerk's office. IMAC and Orchard is looking for full-time and or part-time summer help. For our activities this week, today is 8th grade career day at NECC. Saturday, there's prom, 3 to 4.45, there's a couple pictures in the multi-purpose room. 4.45 is class pictures, 5 is juniors and seniors gathered for the Grand March. 5.15 is the Grand March, and the crowning 18 clean, 6 is in the meal, and dance to follow until 9. Stay tuned for Barrett's sports segment. Hello Summerlin, I'm Barrett with the Summerlin Bobcast sports segment. Uh, the first thing for this segment, of course, is the sports news for Summerlin. Uh, Tuesday, March 29th, is the first golf meet for all people out for golf. That is in Niobrara at 4 o'clock, so good luck to every golfer. Um, I've heard some news that they don't really like the golf course there. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but, I mean, good luck if you're going. Uh, we have the uh, NBA scores here, of course, for me and Alec. Um, the Timberwolves end up beating the Bucks, which I would call it an upset. Uh, 138 to 119. Hornets, I would also say, upset the Mavs, 129-108. Wizards beat the Lakers, 127-119. Cavs beat the Pistons, 113-109. Pacers beat the Trailblazers, 129-98. The Grizz, um, obviously the Grizzlies, they're very, very hot right now. They beat the Rockets easily, 122 to 98. Um, Magic beat the Thunder, 90 to 85. The Suns beat the Kings 127-124. I think that game actually went into overtime, so a little surprising there from the Suns. Uh, Pelicans beat the Hawks 117-112. Uh, Jazz beat the Knicks uh, 108-93. Celtics beat the Nuggets 124-104. Raptors beat the Sixers 93-88. Uh, and then this last one we don't have to worry about too much. It's just the Spurs upset the Warriors. It's fine. 110-108. Uh, final scores. Uh, then for that week, Alec only ended up going 5-8, and eight, and I only went 7-6, and six, so not a really good week for either of us. Um, I barely made it over the 500 mark there at 7-6. and six. Alec was under the 500 mark at 5-8. and eight. Um, College basketball stuff here. Um, of course, March Madness isn't over yet, but we are going into the Sweet 16 tonight. Uh, it's the first games of the Sweet 16, and those games are Arkansas, number 4 seed, playing number 1, Gonzaga. Uh, number 11, Michigan playing number two, Villanova. Three, Texas Tech, playing my number two, Duke Blue Devils, who are still alive. That was my pick to win the whole thing. Um, go Duke is all I can say. Uh, number five, Houston, playing uh, number one, Arizona. Number 15, St. Peter's, the Cinderella story of the year, just like Loyola Chicago was. They beat Kentucky. They beat... Uh, I should know who they beat. Crap. I don't know. They won their round of 32 game. Um, so, yeah, they're in the Sweet 16. Uh, they're the highest, well, I guess lowest seed, technically. Uh, in the Sweet 16 right now, they're playing number three, Purdue. Uh, number four, Providence, and number one, Kansas. 
And uh, I guess there's two more here. Number eight, Carolina beat Baylor, number one seeded Baylor. Uh, and they're playing number four, UCLA. Uh, and then finally, this is a really weird one for a Sweet 16. It's an 11 seed, Iowa State, playing number 10 seed, Miami. So both teams there. I told you guys last time I was here that Miami is hot. They came out of the ACC tournament pretty well. Um, made it to one of the last two rounds, I believe, until Duke beat them, I believe, I think. Um, and they're a 10 seed, and they are hot right now. They've won two straight going into the Sweet 16, when a game I think they can win uh, against Iowa State, who's looked okay throughout the year. But, I mean, they're an 11 seed. They played in the Big 12. There's a lot of different things to that. Um, but, I mean, Miami, watch out for them going to the Elite Eight because they, they are hot. Their guards are carrying them. Charlie Moore, Isaac Wong, those two are really, really good. And, uh, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of these games you can look for upsets in. Even one like Arkansas and Gonzaga, Arkansas, J.D. Note, I mean, obviously Gonzaga's good, but Arkansas could easily take that one. I mean, they're going to have to fight for it, but it's going to be a very good game to watch tonight. Uh, so now with all that stuff taken care of, let's take a look at the leaderboards for my special guests and for me. You can see uh, Alec is now added to the NBA game, so we'll see how all the other standing stuff turn out. Uh, but now I'd like to bring on this week's special guest, track coach and PE teacher, Mr. Medina, for some picks for this weekend sports. Medina, it is great to have you here. I'm so excited to be back. <laughs> to be back. Great memories. For the second time here. Yes. Um, we're going to make some picks today. We're going to start in the NBA, Spurs and the Pelicans. We're just going right into the picks? Yeah, right into Can't it. Can't go against Greg Popovich. Got Spurs all the way. Yeah, I'm going to agree. Even on the road, though. Pelicans, not very good this Better year. coach. Yeah, coaching, yeah, that's true. Uh, Kings and Magic. Magic are at home? Yep. I'll take Magic. I'm going to agree. The Kings, not, not much to talk about this year. Uh, Magic at home, that home crowd. Absolutely. Whatever's whatever's left of them, they're going to get going. And they're going to yeah. win that. Pacers and Raptors. Mmm. Who do you got? I'm going to go take, opposite of you. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Pacers on the road. All right, it's going to be Raptors all the way. It's at home. They, they got to go up to Canada. I mean, not a chance. Pacers on the road, they're going to win it. Yeah. Uh, Nets in the heat. This is an easy one. Is it? Oh, it's an easy one. Is it? Did you see what just happened with the, the heat bench during that game? They got into that fight? Oh, yeah. They're having some problems. Man. They aren't going to play well. And it's the Nets. Ahead. You got Durant. You got... And it's on the road, so Kyrie's playing. That's true. So, Nets are going to take that away. I'm going to agree. I didn't think about all that with the coaching issues with Spolstra and Jimmy Butler, but yeah. It's a good oh, reason. Nets oh, win. Yeah. Uh, Bucks and the Grizzlies. Bucks. Easy. Take walk. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. John yeah. Moran and the Grizzlies. I'm going to take the Grizz there at home, too. Giannis is going to push him around. Maybe. Bulls and the Cavs. Mm. I love the Bulls. I can't get away from Jordan. It was like mm -hmm. 40 yeah. years ago, but I can't get away from it. I don't know if it was 40, but also the Bulls are just a way better team than the Cavs right now. They should win that. Uh, Thunder and the Nuggets. That's an easy pick for you. You got the MVP. Last Denver. year. Last oh, year. no. Yeah. Most valuable player Last in year. the league. Last okay, year. Most important to his team. Last year. This year. <laughs> this year. Jokic. MVP. Last year. Um, he's I, the best center in the game. Yeah. That doesn't mean he's the MVP this year. Mm, he's the MVP. Nuggets are winning that, though, playing the Thunder. Uh, Rockets and the Trailblazers. Trailblazers are going to trail the whole game, but they're going to blaze with the win. <laughs> <laughs> of course you can't. They're going to pull that out. They're going to pull that out. I'll agree, because the Rockets don't really have anybody. And the Trailblazers are pretty shorthanded, too. They made a lot of trades before the deadline. Yeah. Damon yep. Lillard's hurt, but yeah. at home, I'll take him. Uh, Knicks and the Pistons. I'm going to go opposite of you on this one. I got to go Knicks. Pistons are Knicks. not very good. But every do every dog has their day. It's not going to be the Pistons' even day. A blind, even a blind mouse will find cheese every now and then. But not that day. It's going to happen. Knicks are going to win. Uh, when, I, when I'm number one on this standings, I'm going to come back. <laughs> oh, really? He just just have a little ten minute conversation. Okay, uh, my Warriors and the Wizards. I never like picking the Warriors. 
but they're going to win. Well, yeah. It's actually not a very good thing, though, because Curry's out for the rest of the season. You never know. We lost to the... Yeah, we still got Clay. Yeah, but we lost, we lost to the Magic the other night, so... They'll bounce back. We beat the Heat last night, but... They'll bounce back. Gotta go Warriors. Timberwolves and Winners Celtics. Boston. Yeah, that's a good choice. Boston should beat yeah. Minnesota by a lot. Sixers and the Suns. That's tough. I'll take the Suns. Yeah, the Suns... I think Devin Booker's back. I think he yep. was out for a while. But yep. The Sixers actually have looked really good with Harden on their team now, but Suns at home, I think, win yep. that. Lakers and the Pelicans. I'm going to take the Lakers, and I'm also going to add LeBron will have over 15 in the fourth. 15 points in the fourth quarter? Yep. I'm going to take the Lakers just because LeBron's going to play good, but like I said before, the Pelicans, not much to talk about. LeBron will carry him there. Yeah, he's going for points. Yeah. Jazz and the Mavs. Mm, I'll take the home team there, Mavs. Yeah, Luka. Luka carries them over the Jazz, yeah. I think. Home crowd, Mavs win it. Hornets and the Nets. Nets. Yeah. That's an easy one. KD at home. They won't have Kyrie, but I think they win that. And then college basketball here, just who do you have winning it all? In March Carolina. Carolina. No. Yeah, he's gonna, they're going to spoil Coach K's ending. No. They're going to send him home. No. For no. good. Not going to happen. For good. Coach K and Duke. All the way in March Madness. I'll be thinking about you the whole game. They play tonight. I know. And they're going to win. Barrett. Yeah. They're all the way. And then we got a new thing here with the NFL. We're going to rate these trades 1 out of 10 for both teams. Well, they're not all trades. Yeah, they are. are. They all? Yeah, these this are is all trades. trades. These are like the biggest trades that happened. Okay. Much. Uh, Russell Wilson trade. Uh, what do you rate? How do you spell Russell Wilson? I don't know how to use <laughs> Russell Wilson. That's obviously the best trade of them all. Well, when it's your team that... It's the start of a great. dynasty. I mean... It's the start of a dynasty. Maybe. Oh, no, they're going... They're going to go all the way. Russell Probably. Wilson is is the difference maker. There's not much defense in Denver. Who's, who's better? They were a top, top 10 defense last year. Last year. <sighs> Jeez. Russell Wilson's going to take him to the playoffs. It will be yeah. the first uh, division, and maybe ever, that has all four teams to make the playoffs. It is the best division in football. It can be, but they're not all four to make it. Raiders are not making it. I'll go with that. Yeah. Mr. Pinky. <laughs> uh, I would rate it for the Broncos. That's a 10 out of 10 move. Absolutely. Yeah. And the Seahawks, I'm going to give them a 7. Obviously, you trade away Russ, but building for the future, we got those picks. Yeah. Drew Locke, who doesn't really matter in that trade. Maybe. He could have a good year. No fan. He's probably going to be our starter. Maybe. Unless we Even take if they draft the quarterback, Lewis. they'll still have him start so that the rookie has some time to no. get his feet wet. Uh-uh. No. If we draft Malik Willis, he's starting day one. Maybe. He will. Uh, Tyreek Hill to the Dolphins. That's a great trade. That for is who? a great... For who? For, for Kansas um, City. For Denver, you For mean? Kansas City. It is a great trade. Now, don't get me wrong. Tyreek Hill, great player. He's yeah. the fastest guy in the league. I mean, he's, he's unbelievable. But they opened up like $30 million in, in the cap space. And they got, like, seven draft picks from there. So, you mark my words, that is going to be the start of their future dynasty. I don't know. That's a great trade. The- I'll give them a nine. Just because you can't beat Russell Wilson. <laughs> of course. You can't. Uh, I don't know. I feel like for the Chiefs, I know they got a lot of picks out of it, but it's Tyreek Hill. I mean, they, got, they signed Juju. Yeah. But other than that, their receiving core, they have Travis Kelsey, but, I mean... That speed threat down the field is not... you got to get rid of your emotional ties to it. I'm not emotional to it. You're I'm not a Chiefs fan. It's Tyreek Hill. Yeah, it's, yeah it's it is Tyreek Hill. One guy, and they have a potential to $40 million in cap space and seven other players. Maybe. It's a good deal. Um, good deal. I don't know. For the, he went to the Dolphins, right? Yep. And that's not a bad team there either. Yeah. To uh, Outside of the Bills, that division's wide open. Patriots? No. Maybe. I thought last year they were going to do better than they did. They're not the same without Brady. That's true. The GOAT. <laughs> Don't get me started on Brady GOAT talk. Uh-uh. It's okay. No, it's not. It's okay. I can't force you to be right. <laughs> to be right? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, <laughs> Tom Brady is the GOAT. I can't. And why it's is okay. He we can go on to the next one. He's coming back again. I can't. Of um, course he's coming back. He, Why wouldn't he come he back? He retired for 40 he's days. He's got something to prove. No, he doesn't. What does he have to prove? He's the GOAT. You're going to finish off with the Super Bowl. And um, an MVP. 
He'll probably just get injured. He could. He could. But he has, the Le- he has the LeBron James effect. If he's on a team, other people are coming to play with him. I worked out really well for LeBron this year, didn't I? Well, one year out of how many? I mean, he's done that his whole career. There's one, that one Cavs team that was really bad. Oh, yeah. But 90% of the time, he's taking him to the playoffs, probably the finals. Mm. Same with Brady. I mean, that might be true. He, Tom Brady, his percentage being in the Super Bowl is higher than a lot of people in, the, in baseball, able to hit a baseball. Yeah, I heard about that. He has a higher batting average. Yeah. He's not the GOAT, though. And he's, I never, who's better? You'd have to give me some time to think about that. Russell Wilson. Is not better, but he's very Could close. Could be someday. He's very close. It's like Tom Brady, and then it's Russell Wilson's about right there. <laughs> okay. Tom All Brady, right. Russell Wilson. He's right there. Okay. It you, might even be even. You, you go get your facts. Okay, get them lined up. Yeah. And we'll have that debate. Okay. Um, Khalil Mack. That's a great trade. For great who? trade. He gets away. Well, the Bra- uh, the Bears, they weren't doing anything for him. So now he's on a winning team. It's a stacked defense. And, I mean, that's tough. That's hard. Yeah, that defense. You look at the Rams this year. I mean, that defense was outstanding. You got to build through the defense. That's true. Offense will come. You got to build. Defense. Well, and their offense is already good. Oh, yeah. And now, oh, what yeah. did the Bears even get back for that? doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Definitely a great trade. Yeah, that's a 10 for the Bears. Yeah. Or for the Chargers. Yeah, the Chargers. Which I hate, but... <laughs> of course, they're in your division. Smart deal. Yeah, and the Bears, probably like a 3 for them. Yeah. They're just That's not a good trade. I mean, they don't really have anything to build for right now. They don't have a quarterback. Mm-mm. They don't really have anything. So they got to burn the house down. Really so. good trade for Khalil as well. Yeah. Good for him. Uh, Deshaun Watson to the Browns. Who are we talking? Who is this a good deal for? It's a great deal for Watson. For the Texans. For the Texans? Yeah, they get a, a guy in the free cap space who didn't even play. And wasn't yeah, going to play. But now they have a quarterback. But they have draft picks. They have like, don't they have the third overall pick? They're going to take an offensive lineman. You still don't have a quarterback. That's fine. In the NFL, in the NFL, if you don't have a quarterback, you don't have a team. Look at the Broncos. Great. Most talent, probably in the league on their team. For several years, didn't have a quarterback. Didn't Which go years? Huh? Which years? All of them. <laughs> talent? Where was the talent? With Vaughn Miller, yeah, Hall of Famer. Right. Justin Simmons, probably future Hall of Famer. Bradley Chubb, perennial pro bowler. Injuries. Oh, yeah. That's why, that's why I didn't say Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of talent on that team, but if you don't have a quarterback, you're not going anywhere. So the Texans, that's a better trade for the Texans, I think. Because Deshaun, he's got more lawsuits now, so he might not even be playing this year. He may not. He may not. It could be a waste for the Browns. But they still they still opt to solve their main problem of finding the quarterback. Dante Adams trade. Brilliant. For who? The He's with the Raiders. Yeah. That's a great trade. They need yeah. offensive weapons. That's true. Absolutely. And Rodgers, he'll he'll make a pro bowl or have somebody else. <laughs> And not Marquez Valdez Scantling. He's probably going somewhere else now. Doesn't matter. Just Doesn't like Tom matter. Brady, he makes Pro Bowlers out of everybody. That's so does Rodgers. Um, yeah, great trade for the Raiders. Packers, it, maybe like a yeah. five for them. Uh, and then finally here, the Matt Ryan trade. A little bit of a lower one there, but yeah, for the Falcons, not a bad deal. You kind of start over a little bit, and move on. Uh, for the Colts, it's kind of a lateral move. I mean, Matt Ryan now and uh, Carson, Wentz. Carson Wentz are somewhat similar, so. I don't think they really gained anything from the moves that they made. And for the Falcons, Ridley's out for the whole year, so it's not like you know, whatever quarterback they bring in, it's not going to matter too much because they don't even have their star receiver there. Yep. So I'd say about a five or a six for both teams there. Mm-hmm. They both made okay moves. That might pull Julio Jones in there. Yeah, it could. You never know. Um, so I'm Barrett. This is Medina. Mr. Medina, <laughs> thank you for coming in today. Uh, thank you for tuning in to today's Summerlin Bobcast.